poster has a relatively unified message. I see no posters with Obama with a Hitler mustache. No posters about ending this war or that. Those are wonderful messages, those, but, you know, this is not a loose congl conglomeration of people angry about separate things. There's a lot, a lot of people angry about one thing. from the internet that I smell no patchouli here. There are no same facts. It's all just a lot of angry people. I've yet to see a single crazy person. No patchouli, no weed, just anger. Just a lot of anger, but a lot of hope. Awesome.
People just got tired. It was a logical response to a logical, insane situation. You know, it's a funny thing we gotta think of. We just do a little bit. I'm unemployed. I've never been unemployed for 20 years. I have a job. For 20 years, I never collected an employee check. I started collecting an employee check. And they don't give me a check anymore. They give me a bank card. But I can't go and use my own bank. I got to use Bank of America's debit card. Go! Fuck that. You know, something else is interesting. That Bank of American debit card now is a, has a $5 surcharge. So on top of that, Every every month, Bank of America is taking money from my unemployment check. But that's not what we hear about individuals. We hear about creating a better, a better society. Franklin Roosevelt talked about an economic bill of rights. Corporate control of our politics over our lives. We need to make sure that General Electric doesn't pay more taxes than somebody who's working in a construction job, in a textile job, or any job. That's ridiculous. The General Electric is actually getting a tax refund. Y lo creo que es muy importante también de saber que el derecho del inmigrante es un derecho económico también. Tenemos el derecho de decidir dónde podemos trabajar. Necesitamos asegurar que cada persona tiene el derecho de trabajar con o sin papeles. Necesitamos una amnistía plana y justa para todo el mundo. ¡Que viva la gente! Y que viva la raza y que viva la gente unida, por favor. Y recuérdense una cosa muy importante, one thing that's very, very important. We are a peaceful, non-violent movement. The world may change. And on behalf of the Occupy Wall Street movement, I want you to know something, a couple of things. We received an email yesterday from a union representing 1.2 million members. The largest industrial union that's left in this country, United Steelworkers, has made an announcement that they completely and totally support the Occupy Wall Street movement. And I want to say, this movement is your movement. It's not mine, it's not any of the organizers, but we're going to ask that we have to be self-policing. When we see something going wrong, hey, we got to say, don't do that. Because the movement can't be about egos. It cannot be about, I have the right opinion and I have to express it. That's not what this is about. So if you see somebody defacing property, come on, be grown-ups about it and say something about it. Say, hey, don't do that, brother. You're hurting the movement. So can we get that from Thank you very much.
Damn, it feels good to be a bankster. So a lovely first aid. There you go, kiddo.
phosphor resources. These wars are being fought because people on the other side of the world have the rotten luck of living on top of oil. Now there's something we can do here in this city and every city. We can reduce our oil consumption and we can increase our human power Walk, we can take bicycles. Who here walks and rides bicycles every day? Yeah. Walk every day, ride your bike. You need to go somewhere that's less than three or four miles away. Make that conscious choice to ride your bicycle. Don't be a consumer of oil. what they want us to be. They talk about us on the news. They call us consumers. Fuck that. I use my own two feet to get around. I'm not going to be a for all of them. I'm not going to play your game. We just spent $3 trillion bombing broke people on the other side of the world to get what? Cheap gasoline? Fuck that. I'm going to ride a bicycle. I'm going to walk. I'm going to ask my politicians for public transportation. Built this, or do you know what? Do you know what uh, what this like structure is for? What we're doing with it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a union hall. Uh, we're the IWW, the Industrial Workers of the World. Wobblies, yeah. Wobblies, yeah. yeah. Um, we're building a union hall. It's going to be an area for the, uh, for the community to hear to uh, network, talk to each other, talk to about issues, union issues, other issues. Um, just get to know each other and um, really build a bridge network. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and it's also to um, uh, advertise the artist union that we're working on. The IWW is working to form an artist team, uh, more or less mauled by uh, mauled, uh, against the, uh, the uh, writers' guild. Uh, uh, modeling an artist union, again, uh, more or less along the lines of the artist guild. Uh -huh. um, so this is also going to be advertising the, the IWW artist union. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, like, is it mobile? Is it going to, like, move when the park closes? Or are you guys just going to, you know, stand your ground? It all depends on the... We just got word from uh, some state representative. Um, the representative um, saying that for legal reasons we might have to cut it in half and alter it later on the night. Um, but the intention is fully is to keep this open. Okay. But the IWW is pushing a membership drive in East Los Angeles uh -huh. and downtown LA to organize new members. Um, we are pushing with it also uh, uh, a workshop to teach people how to organize their own workplaces, to teach the tactics, the strategy behind organizing and getting workplace. Okay. Um, the campaign also includes a new union hall. Los Angeles, Cool. Is there, uh, is there stuff that the IWW does other than helping people unionize? What? Do you guys do anything other than helping people unionize? Absolutely. Um, the other issue is obviously raising class consciousness, raising the issues that unite us, the issues that unite the working class in general, and also bringing attention to LGBT causes. So we have a lot of uh, contacts in McCarthy Park and other areas where we really want to know about the LGBT community, also in Los Angeles. So, uh, first, uh, tell us your name. Let me, uh... Uh, Philippe Purcell. Philippe, okay. And I'll just add, Philippe, that you're, like, one of the nicest people I've met, you know, since <laughs> since I've been, like, working on this. You're awesome. Uh, well, thank you. So, I hope the people on the internet know that. So, uh, what have you been doing for this? Uh, well, I was in logistics, uh, okay. was offered uh, help with food, mm -hmm. and then uh, that just grew into more logistics of everything right. over the last week. 
And then uh, yesterday I got promoted to head of sanitation, but I'm not quite sure if that's a promotion. <laughs> no. But the, we have the cleanest porta potties. Right. You're they right. They are so. bleached and, they're, and they don't flush. But they are bleached and they are clean. So the porta potties are, are your uh, your dance, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, we thank you for for that. So, uh, do you know like how many people are are hoping to occupy tonight? Uh, I've heard uh, approximately a uh, hundred. A hundred. Okay. Uh, and, but we have to be on the sidewalks. Yeah. Yeah. So, and why why do we have to be on the sidewalks? Because this is a state park, and that by law. State parks close at 9:30, mm -hmm. from what I understand. Right. Do you think but, it, but they open back up at 6 a.m. by law, mm -hmm. and so we'll be back on here at 6 a.m. Uh, do you think it's kind of funny that we have to that nonprofits have to try and raise money to you know do upkeep for other state parks, but this one is you know this one's never going to shut down, right? Uh, I didn't understand. They're, the they're never going <laughs> to shut. Sorry. No worries. They're never going to shut this park down for budget cuts, right? Well, they'll, no, it's City Hall. Yeah, they'll they'll shut down like. Yellowstone or whatever, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm I'm preaching instead of filming you. Sorry. Um, so, okay, these people will be sleeping on the sidewalks. Uh, do we have any idea like when we might be able to figure out a situation where we're not just sleeping on sidewalks? Uh, when they see that uh, as we build and more people come, uh -huh. then and peaceful and respectful, uh, that they will give us the the park. Okay. Since it is a public park and we are the public. Park. Okay. Do we have any uh, Do we have any practical headway on that so far? No. Or is that, we're just hoping that that we'll get a response now. Yes, the police have been very nice and we've been nice back. Yes, that, that's definitely true. I mean, it's it's hard to even see police around here, isn't it? Yes, but they've yeah. Been very cordial and thank you. That's awesome. We love the police. All right, cool. Well, their pensions have been stolen just as much as everyone else's money. Exactly. So we don't really need to go there. <laughs> no, no, no. In fact, I've said it before, it'd be wonderful if we could get some cops marching with us. We'll see. Okay, so what's our next event? Uh, we have General Assembly at 7.30. Uh -huh. uh, we have the largest crowd I've heard from my like, fellow committee person, 2,100 at the height of today. Nice. Uh, so I don't know. This is obviously going to be our largest General Assembly, but it is public discourse, and it is uh, right. people talking uh, diplomacy. Uh, I got... And sorry, I got to see my ugly mug, but I'm going to finish that up a bit. I'm not sure if any events are happening on Sunday, but... Here, maybe this will help. <laughs> but we, I have heard on Monday we will be protesting on the overpasses over the 101. There's a lot of overpasses. That's a main artery into Los Angeles uh, proper. And the traffic helicopters will not be able to ignore us. So that will be awesome. We'll be in there in the morning rush hour and evening rush hour. And I will try and film as much of that as I can. All right. Thank you, Internet. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is Patty. Patty? Okay. And, uh, Patty, what, what type of work have you been doing for the uh, protest? Um, I've been on social media, mm -hmm. I've been on Facebook and Twitter, and I've been uh, aggressively letting people know what's going on. And by aggressively, I mean okay. relentlessly. Right. Non stop. Right. Losing yeah. sleep. <laughs> Especially in the beginning, when, when nobody knew yeah. what was going on, I was on Twitter. I will. I will attest you have been posting stuff on the Facebook at all hours, both on the Occupy community and also your own. Yeah. It's very awesome. Yeah. So, have you been, anything you've been up to today? Um, today, mostly I, I can't get online, so that's my only way of getting yeah. on my laptop. So, I don't have the phone thing, yeah. so I've been walking around taking Just, video and pictures. Cool. So, like, for media team, right? I'm going to give it to them, yeah. Cool, yeah. Um, any any thoughts on like occupation tonight? How how that's gonna go? Um, I don't think the numbers are gonna be as large as I would hope. Uh, no, but it's. I think it's gonna uh, go smoothly. I think it's gonna be fine. Right. I don't know, you know, if, if we're gonna be able to sleep. Uh, I don't know where we're gonna be able to sleep. Mm -hmm. But I think the people who are staying are dedicated. So they not, definitely are. are not people people who show up with tents and they just say, "Try and move me." So. I, I'm told that they'll probably be sleeping on the sidewalks where it's legal to do so. Okay, um, that's me answering questions instead of asking, sorry. Um, let's see, do you know anything about like the what, what we're doing next, our next event after today? Um, I know at 7.30 we're having a general assembly. Uh -huh. And as far as after today, I don't know, but someone had suggested that a large group of us go to our bank branch and videotape while we stand in line to close our accounts, but we allow the regular customers to go in front of us in line so that they can do 
just so we're not being assholes. <laughs> Do you know about anything happening tomorrow? Do you think that might happen tomorrow? Well, banks are closed on Sunday, right? I don't know what's happening tomorrow. It's not on here. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, all right. Thanks, Patty. Okay. And uh, Bethany, what do you? Uh, what have you been uh, doing to to help the protest? I've been um, working on public relations. I wrote a press release. Oh, cool. I've been contacting reporters and um, trying to. Um, Media okay. Here. What kind of outlets have you been speaking with? Uh, well, we, we did a blast with the press release like earlier this week. Uh -huh. um, all the major um, TV stations in New York and the Illinois Public Radio Network and Public Access Media and Public Radio Network. Uh -huh. um, we're trying to get out there and get the word out. Okay. Um, and then we're trying to get a lot of media out there. And you saw we had uh, Channel 5 over there? Did you did you like talk with them at all or did they I just? Didn't, I didn't because I, I know that they were over there covering the Michael Jackson thing, so I kind of figured. That really, that's what that was about. Well, probably. Well, uh, <laughs> because they've been ignoring yeah. us the rest. Of, you know, well, uh, a guy uh, I know a guy like aimed a camera at, uh, at people across the street for a while, so okay. maybe that's just for like B-roll for the anchors to say, "Hey, those dirty hippies." Oh, by the way, <laughs> look what we found. Yes. <laughs> we had no idea. Even though they said it's a yeah. like, well, at least it's footage of, you know, us protesting and not footage of us getting beaten up by cops, right? It's, uh, like, I'm sorry, I'm, like, interviewing you, but I, I sort of feel like that's been way too much of the footage from New York. I mean, it's, uh, I'd really love to see more, like, stuff about them protesting at Southbees, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, back to me asking you questions. So, uh, what, sorry, what would you say we have, uh, planned for the future on, on press? Um, you know, definitely just to keep, um, the momentum as far as updating, like, uh, when I, um, actually, after this weekend, I plan to do another press release just about, like, whatever happened this weekend, keep them updated and try to keep them, try to keep them informed and try to maintain the momentum of keeping the reporters talking to the people out here. Okay. All right. And, uh, do you know anything about, like, uh, what's, what's next? Like, you know, we have a, we have a list of events and stuff for today, but, you know, tomorrow, the future, what do you think? a good chance of holding an op uh, of you know holding the occupation down here go cool. i think so uh. i mean i really do i think that there are, I, I was surprised with the turnout today yeah um, and i think that to be honest with you um, a lot of the stuff coming out of um, new york um, city has actually galvanized a lot of people out here so definitely um, I, I think that yeah you know yeah. they've been um persistent and as long as they're persistent um i think we'll be persistent out here as well cool cool or, um are, are you gonna occupy Cool. Are, are you staying here tonight then? Tonight, yeah. Cool. That is awesome. That's good to hear. All right. Thanks, Bethania. Yeah, good name. Sure. Okay. I'm Herwin. Herwin. Okay. And uh, what have you been doing for the protest, Herwin? Um, well, I've shown up here. I've been helping with PR and outreach, okay. uh, just answering some media contacts, getting okay. connected, getting people connected with interviews. Um, we're trying to get outreach to organizations uh, started up because we really need union support here, and we really, we really need to bring in um, organizations of different focuses so that it can really seem like a widespread movement. Okay. Uh, I've also been helping out with social media just tweeting, uh, doing Facebook, you know, designing some flyers, cool. uh, coordinating some translations. Uh, yeah. Okay. Any, uh, any, any other plans for, you know, the future of, of the outreach of what you're doing? Well, we're trying to get a list of organizations going, uh -huh. and we're trying to recruit uh, lots of people. But first, we got to figure out how to communicate what this movement is about to different types right. of organizations. Because I think what a lot of people think about this movement is that it has no goals, and it's sort of people just uh, complaining. And I think this this is a legitimate movement. We're we're a movement of the masses, and I think as lots of people on Twitter said, masses the masses are the message right now. Uh, 
and I think each person has a legitimate, legitimate thing to protest, and I think we have to find a way to communicate that organization. Are you, uh, are you worried about our ability, like, so, you know, say you do your job really well and we get, like, a bunch of people from a lot of different organizations here, right? Yeah. Are, are you worried about, uh, like, having a trouble meeting consensus on what to do or where to go? I, I think I am. I think I'm having trouble with consensus, but I, or I think I am worried about people having trouble finding consensus. But I think the root cause of a lot of these focuses is economic inequality and economic greed, corporate greed. Um, if we can put a stop to corporate greed, I think a lot of environmental pro problems, social problems, political problems, uh, problems about healthcare, about veterans, about, uh, you know, Planned Parenthood. I think all that, something, some part of those, those uh, topics would be solved. So you think corporation, uh, you know, corporation uh, in, in government, it's uh, sort of a root issue, right? I think so, yeah. Good. So, so sort of like a standard that everyone can, you know, root under and then, and then right. find some sort of consensus from right. that. That's good. I think I think movements in the past, once they become so big, you know, there have been different types of people who have been demanding different things, but what's important as a mass movement is to stick together in solidarity and find something that you all have in common. Otherwise, every wheel of the movement will fall off. Yeah. No splintering, right? Right. No splinter groups. Right, right. All right, cool. Uh, anything else to say? Um... I just want to say I'm so excited with this turnout here. We only had one week of planning, and there were close, I want to say close to 3,000 people who showed up, and it really shows how frustrated people are with the way this country is going. Right. And there's so much energy to bank on, and I'm very excited to just uh, put all of this energy towards something positive. Yeah. It seemed like there wasn't a lot of uh, crazy people, just a lot of angry people today. Yes, yeah. yes. Like, you didn't see didn't see many, like, posters of Obama with a Hitler mustache or right. anything, like, yeah. That it, is for another type of yeah. <laughs> organization. So, like, we were, we were able to hold together, you know, pretty well from the start, whereas, you know, I've been to some protests where it's, it seems pretty splintered from the, from the get-go. It's just, yeah. like, a lot of loosely affiliated groups right. marching. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe I'm not interviewing so much as I am talking now, so, <laughs> all right, uh, Bethany might say that's a constant problem. All right, well, thanks, Erwin. Yep, thank you. <laughs> All right.
for this event was not provided by any sort of fancy Hollywood, you know, van. Go ahead. <laughs> Food not bombs of Hollywood. Food not bombs. I don't see any bombs here. Shall I check for bombs? We're the bomb. We're all the bomb show. Oh. We're the bomb, yeah. the bomb yo. Uh, uh. And look, I haven't seen so many people, you know, raring to eat since uh, my last extras job. Bye, bye. <laughs>